why has the agency's budget been cut or at least not increased? NIH's budget between 98 and 2003 was doubled, which was great. We really built up strength in our engine. But since then, budgets have been flat or declining and the sequester hit us very hard. And so we've lost about 23% of our purchasing power. I don't think that's because people lost faith in medical research. It's because we got tangled up in this national debate about our fiscal deficit and where we're going to put our resources, which has been kind of in gridlock. And we, NIH, medical research, is part of what's called the non-defense discretionary budget. And whenever there's a need to save some money or squeeze things, that's what happens, and we get squeezed. And then the sequester comes along, which everybody agrees is the most irrational, dumbest way to manage uh, anybody's budget. And it was supposed to be such a terrible poison pill that nobody would actually go with it. But we did, and we got poisoned. So what is happening now as a result of the budget cuts? As a result of that, if you're a young investigator out there sending their, your best ideas to us, because that's what you do if you're at Stanford or the University of Chicago or Duke or wherever, and then that grant application goes through this really rigorous peer review process. In the past, you had about one chance in three you're going to get funded. Not easy. A lot of people getting turned away. But now it's one in six. And that's unhealthy. That's very destructive. People are now spending all their time just trying to write and revise and resubmit and hoping they'll finally hit the lottery. And instead, they're not doing science. This is not the way to encourage the greatest talent pool the world has ever seen, which is really American biomedical science. And we're seeing people leaving the field or leaving the country. And who, which country or countries are ahead of mm. the U.S. when it comes to research and development? Well, if you look at the graphs of what's happened in terms of government investments uh, in biomedical research, what really stands out is China. China has been increasing their support 20% each year for several years, so that's compounded. They are on a path to outstrip the United States, not just as a percent of GDP, but in total dollars in a few more that's years. That's spending. Who's that's ahead spending. of us in terms of innovation? Well, if you when look at patents, let's take patents. China filed more patents in life sciences last year than the United States did, which is a breathtaking statement to make because we have dominated intellectual property in life sciences. And I guess people have taken that for granted. And those intellectual property claims are what is going to give rise to new businesses. They're maybe not going to happen as much here as they are over there. India, South Korea, Singapore, Brazil, all of those are countries that are on this very steep trajectory following our lead, but watching us with some puzzlement, wondering, gosh, you know, what's happened to the U.S.? Why aren't they doing what they always did before?